This is an exhaust on a wake boat, and this is a fresh air exhaust on the same wake boat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a fresh air exhaust. This is their through hole FAE system. Here are the things you might need before you even get started. The instructions, D-Bond, 3M5200 sealant, butter knife, a 2x4, wedges, plastic razor blade, some soap and water, a good wrench kit, and a second set of hands. I have to let you know that FAA donated the system to me so I could help all of you out. They are a great company to work with and make a sweet product. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram. I'll help you with the four steps, removal, test fit, installation, and testing. Start by removing the old exhaust tip. Use painter's tape to protect the transom of your boat. Use D-Bond to get the seal to loosen up. While the D-Bond is soaking in, gain access to the exhaust from the inside of the boat. Remove panels if needed. Remove the hose clamp holding on the baffle. Which is a 5 16 ratchet. That should just slide off. Perfect. Remove the hardware holding the exhaust tip in place. Might need a second set of hands. Thanks, Camille. Undo the hose clamps inside the boat. Use some more D-Bond and start trying to break the seal. I found that a butter knife and a hammer worked best. Ideally use a rubber hammer wrapped with saran wrap or cloth. Sorry, this is all I have. It did mark up the gel coat a bit. Use a 2x4 to wiggle out the old exhaust tip. Boom. Use a plastic razor blade to remove the old adhesive. Wash the surface clean with soap and water to remove any of the D-Bond solution. Oh look, a new subscriber. Speaking of subscribing, if you're getting value from this video, you should subscribe. High five. Knuckles. This one? No, this is the old one. This is the new one. This one's gonna make it so you can surf behind the boat. And you don't breathe in all the nasty exhaust fumes. And we can hear the stereo when we're surfing. Do you want that? You think this is a good idea? Yeah. The instructions say to find the center line, but my FAE didn't have a hole on the top center line. So instead, I used the FAE as my template. Make sure that the downpipe is vertical and not tilted to one side or the other. Stand back behind the boat about 10 feet. It will give you a good angle to ensure that the downpipe is vertical. Make sure to clean up the exhaust hole. Mine was too tight. I used 150 grit sandpaper to remove some material so that it would slide into place. You might need a sand and then sand some more, and then some more. Just keep fitting the FAE so you don't take away too much material. Vacuum out all the debris, test fit the FAE, and mark your first hole. When drilling holes in gel coat, you want to start in reverse first. It will help so that you don't chip the gel coat. Also, when a hole is completed, use a countersinking tool to create a chamfer on the edge. This prevents spider cracks. Use the transom block for the other two holes. With that knowledge, drill the holes. Looks like I need to do a quarter. Vacuum out the debris. Make room for the transom block. Loosen the hose clamps and then break free the exhaust hose and push towards the front of the boat. Before applying sealant, test fit everything to make sure the installation goes smoothly. You might want to drill out the transom block so you have a little bit more play to get everything lined up correctly. Before installing, you need to know how the washers go and why. It goes like this. Custom washer, FAE flange, small washer, transom, small washer, transom block, big washer, nut. The small washers allow for space between the FAE and the transom so that the sealant fills that void and makes a good seal. It also allows for space to be between the transom block and the transom on the inside of the boat for the same purpose to allow the sealant to fill up that void. To get the transom block to stay in place, use some longer wood screws to stick through the holes. Then as you push the bolt through, the wood screws will fall out. Get somebody to help you because it will make this part much more manageable. Put sealant on everything the transom block, the FAE flange, the part of the FAE that will go into the boat, and fill any leftover holes. Make sure there is ample amount of sealant because you want it to ooze out around the flange and also into the boat. Slide everything into place, stand back and make sure that the FAE is aligned correctly with the down pipe running vertically. Then tighten everything down. Have someone hold each nut on the inside while you tighten the screws from the outside. 
Wipe away any excess sealant with acetone or mineral spirits and let it cure. If you are using 3M 5200 Fast Cure, let it cure for at least three days before testing. While you wait for the sealant to cure, fill out this paperwork and send it in to mail at freshairexhaust.com so that you can register your FAE. Run the boat on the hose. Make sure there is no leaks and that the boat runs properly. Test it in the water. Make sure everything is still tight and that there are no leaks. For your first test, don't go above 15 miles an hour. For a 5% discount at freshairexhaust.com, use code BLAKEDAYS at checkout. Now that you know how to install a fresh air exhaust system on your boat and have clean air while you're surfing, you're probably wondering, how do I even teach somebody how to wake surf? Well, I got the video just for you. Click here, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.